Once, not long ago, even now as we speak, lived a lady most beauteous, stylish and sleek. She shined with a warm smile, always in fashion, you see, and with a figure that turned heads, she was known as the booty. Starting up his motorcycle way across town, a biker, stone cold and most feared, could be found. His stare and his sneer made people jump at the least, and so around town, he was known as the Beast. She could be seen downtown, quite poised, quite proper, while he would be feeling the wind through his hair, riding his chopper. These two were so different, opposites in every way. If they ever met, they would despise each other, kill each other. <laughs> Uh, wouldn't they? Let me tell you something. I'm old school. You want to talk to my girlfriend? You want to talk to my girlfriend? That means you want to fight me. Good night, Irene. Well, looks like these two are going to give it a go. And as they say, I suppose, you really never know. Seriously, Chuck, how long are these fights? I only brought four magazines. Baby, trust me, you're not even gonna look at those magazines. These fights are so exciting, they're more exciting than Us Weekly. I doubt that. George Clooney and his wife, now that's exciting. George Clooney and his wife. Apparently they're not doing great, so. These fights are a little different. You'll see tonight. What's so different about two guys punching each other in the face? It's barbaric. Barbaric? Barbaric. What are you talking about? You just punched a girl in the face on Black Friday. That was over a very nice purse, okay? What are these guys fighting over? These guys fight for honor and glory and hope one day they can wear that UFC belt. Belts? What kind of belts? Championship belt. Oh, now you're talking. I like belts. <laughs> what is it again? CFU? UFO? UFC. UFC. It's a little bit much for me. Seriously, Chuck, what's the backstory? What do you mean backstory? Who am I rooting for? Who's the good guy? Who's the bad guy? Baby. This isn't pro wrestling. They're both good guys. They fight for bragging rights and see whose skills are more superior. Wait a minute. Are these the guys? That's them, baby. But they're too pretty to be punching each other in the face. Pretty? What do you mean pretty? I like those shorts they're wearing. I may just like this sport after all. Oh, guys in shorts? Mm -hmm. Just don't like it too much. I didn't take you for a UFC girl, go figure. Are you kidding me? Look at those bodies. They look like Roman gladiators, my heart's still racing. You talking about me again? I think I'm gonna get the UFC channel. Yes, the only channel. Until forever, Chuck. Huh? Huh? I just love flying. It's the only time I feel really relaxed. You know what? I hate flying, especially on these little jets. You are afraid of flying? Oh my God, I've got the perfect thing for you. One of these and you'll forget we were ever in the air. See you in the future. <laughs> hey babe, we'll be taking off here real soon. Oh, that's great, thank you. Can I get you anything to drink? Sure, scotch on the rocks would be great. You know what, make that two. I uh, know, make that just one. Chuck over here just had a sleeping pill so he can't be drinking. Well, when he goes to sleep, you should meet me in the cockpit. Oh, oh, what's this babe in cockpit stuff? He's trying to be nice, Chuck. He's not trying to be nice. You know what, you're not going nowhere with him. Really? Why? Why is that? I'm gonna try and get you in a Mile High Club, that's why. Are you kidding me right now? Yeah, up in the, in the air, you know, boom, boom. Yeah, what am right. I supposed to do? Just sit here? Sleep with me. <sighs> Nap with me. Lay down with me. I'm not even tired. I'm my eyes on you mm -hmm. and this cock guy over here. 
You know what? With what I gave you, you are gonna be out cold in a matter of seconds. You know, you you planned all this. Planned it all. You're worse than Cosby. I'm a lot stronger than some little pill, yeah. and it's just a little mind over matter, and I'm not going nowhere. Right. Go to cockpit. You ain't going nobody's cock. You know, I knocked him out, but he's got to fly the plane. So I'm not going to do nothing. Of course you're not. Until we land. Until we land. But mind over matter. Mind over matter. Sweet mind. dreams. Mind. Chuck, wake up. What? What? We just landed. Get up. Oh, we did? Get up. Where is that son of a bitch? Who? The pilot, that's who. He's probably landing the plane. He's a pilot. Did you give me your number? What? No. You sure? You probably dreamed it. That's what happened. Probably dreamed it up. You know what? You would say something like oh, that. Oh, God. You're just being jealous and Tell silly. me you were flirting with him back in L.A. I wasn't flirting with this guy back in L.A. I know when I'm flirting, and I wasn't flirting. Yeah, well, I know what I heard, too. And I, when I I heard cocks, <gasps> and when cocks are involved, I get nervous. You would say and that. I know we wasn't talking about no roosters, either. You are literally insane. I can't wait to see this guy outside. No call. I can't wait. Welcome to New York. Yeah. <laughs> Baby! Excuse me, guys. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course. Sorry, baby. Mm -hmm. And so begins our story, quite a strange one, you'll agree. Could these two crazy kids make it? We'll just have to wait and see.